Workouts on Zoom in under 60 seconds. Here's the tutorial. So um, one of the best features on Zoom, it allows you to say you have three people on the call. It allows you to split them into three different virtual rooms, which allows for smaller conversations and then you can pull people back. And it happens all really seamlessly in the cyber world. So what you wanna do is go down and find the breakout rooms option. If you can't see it, it might be in the more tab, um, but you click breakouts. Right here, you have the option to um, select how many rooms you want. So if you have three people and you want them all to be alone, then you would select three rooms. Right now, it's only uh, me on the call, and so it's showing zero participants for a room. But if you had 20 people in a room and you created five rooms, my fifth, fourth, third, second grade math would tell me that that's four people per room, right? And that would show up right here. You can automatically assign people or manually assign people, which I would not do this with large groups. Automatically, it just auto-magically separates you out. You click Create, and then it opens up a couple more options. You get to see your breakout rooms here, and if you have people on the call, it will show you who's there. And then over here, this is a hidden lovely option, is there's a whole bunch of other options. This one in particular, I would recommend checking. Move all participants into breakout rooms automatically, which means they don't have to accept. So when you click this button, open all rooms, it just whoosh, automatically pushes people into those uh, rooms. And then um, if you want to allow people to return to the session, you can check this box if they're in their small breakout and they wanna come back. Typically I uncheck that um, because that just creates issues because people usually just accidentally hop back. Um, you can choose to end them at a certain amount of time. And then a countdown. This is a really important option that you just need to choose which is best for you. And then what happens is once you open all rooms, this button will change to close all rooms. And when you do that, it starts a countdown. And so you can give them a 10 second countdown to a two minute countdown. Um, and then after that time, the system whoosh, automatically, lots of sound effects here going on, uh, automatically rips them back into the main room. It's really cool. It's a great way to create connection before content and interaction online. Oftentimes what uh, we'll do is use a WeConnect card question, invite people to remember that question, split people into breakouts, answer that question, come back to the main room, and then popcorn out things that they may have uh, learned, etc. Depending on the group, there's a whole bunch of ways you can use it. Hope this was useful. Have an awesome day.